<coughs> Sorry, I was just clearing my throat out. Probably because I wanted to puke out this want this garbage that I'm talking about. Now for the title of this, you already probably probably know about my th my thoughts on this. But when I first heard about it, can I say I was I was not really surprised. I wasn't. I wasn't really surprised. Because, you know, they want to try to remake everything now, so, including beloved classics. So, yeah, I was not really surprised when I heard this. Yeah, so from this here, yes, I heard that, um, that now they're going to, now they're going to, another pointless remake. Once again, another pointless remake that that we did not ask for. So yeah, they're gonna re they're gonna remake John Carpenter's slash Stephen King's Christine. My favorite film from my favorite film from uh from f based on Stephen King. I review I reviewed it long ago, you know. John Carpenter's Christine was is my favorite ad uh, adaptation from Stephen King. Although I I love The Shining. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll eventually I'll have to make a top five favorite listing as of, of my favorite films based on Stephen King, but I love I love, <clears throat> I said John, um, Christine from John Carpenter. It's my all time favorite Stephen King film. But I love Maximum Overdrive. I love The Shining. You know, and a, and a Graveyard Shift. Uh, the miniseries of It. I enjoyed many uh, uh, films based on Stephen King, you know, for, even for, from the later ones like fourteen oh uh, from the year like fourteen oh eight, you know, from two thousand seven. But oh, another 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 remake of another film, another classic. Now, of John from John Carpenter's Christine. Now, like I said, I reviewed about it. You can, you can look it up on my channel. I reviewed it like years back. Christine, great, great film about the the haunt, the haunted, uh, the, the haunted nineteen fifty eight Plymouth Fury. Uh, and um, Keith Gordon, I thought he did a good job as as Arnie Cunningham, <clears throat> going from you know being the being the being the nerd kid, nerdy kid, you know, being bullied at school, and all of a sudden when he gets the car, you know, just him being transformed to this dark, you know. From being a, a nerdy kid to a this dark uh, character, you know, pushing everybody people away and um, caring only about the only about the car. So, and John Stockwell, which I thought he was still he was still he was a I probably mentioned this before, but he, John Stockwell as um for what was his name as Arnie's friend, he was still fine though. He's not, he wasn't the best, but he he still did fine. Um. And who was it who played a uh, Lee? Lee, uh, Lee, she. I thought she did fine too. Um, yeah, of course, you have an early role from uh, by the late Kelly Preston. She had a little role in this. Robert Blossoms playing, you know, the old guy from Home Alone later on, as the guy who sold Arnie the car. Um, Robert Prosky, who as as Arnie's boss, you know, when he gets when he, when he gets crushed in the car, you know, when Christine was making the seat go up and up at him, getting crushed against the steering wheel, I thought that was a kind of a little bit of a painful death there. <laughs> um, and of course, I already know one thing for sure: if they were to remake this, it's not going to be done practically. It is not. I can guarantee it's not going to be done practical. You know. Like when if the when the car when Christine is fixing herself up and you know, repairing herself all over, it's gonna be done CG. Definitely, definitely gonna be CG when when Christine's gonna like repair put her, put herself back together. When was awesome awesome effects when Christine in, in John Carpenter's film being put being putting herself back together that was a well done effect. Or especially or when. When Christine was when going after the other bullies and uh, blowing up that gas station, and Christine is just on fire, driving uh, driving through the road on fire. Well done, excellent practical effect of the car being set on fire, and real and real good explosion of the gas station being uh, exploding. Oh, I forgot to mention Harry Dean Stan. Harry Dean Stan, may he rest in peace. You know from Alien um, and many other movies. Um, Harry Dean Stan as the cop.
forgot to mention him. Um, decent cast and well done and well well done special effects, pra- practical effects. I guarantee that, definitely guarantee the effects is gonna all gonna be CGI, definitely. And also one thing that also works is John Carpenter's direction and especially the music, John Carpenter's music. You know, especially when he was uh, chasing um, um. What was it? The, the 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 one of the bullies. Um, the first one he chased. He was chasing after. You know when the boy saying, "Hey Cunningham, is that you? Hey, you ain't mad, are you?" That that one. And then you have the John Carpenter's music playing. Da 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 da. da. John Carpenter's music I thought was great. You know and. Uh, Although they also they also done I think it was also done by Alan Howarth I think, but um but it was also but John Carpenter did a lot of the music too so. Yeah, I love John Carpenter's Christine. It's my like I said it's my favorite adaptation from Stephen King. <sighs> I'm not I'm not surprised this is gonna get a remake because they're trying to remake every movie nowadays. I'm not surprised. But I can still rant on it though, but. And and like I said, the Brian Fuller, who's worked with Michael Bay, like on producing on the on the horror remakes, like Amityville Horror, Texas of Massacre, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, The Hitcher, and uh, Jason Blum's gonna have a hand in it, and his company, Jason Blum, Blumhouse, are gonna have a hand in it as well. And also, I also forgot to mention the soundtrack. If this remake comes out, it's not gonna have a near a soundtrack that's near. Or let alone a score, it's gonna be a match John Carpenter's music, or the score, or, or the soundtrack from John Carpenter's Christine, like especially Bad to the Bone, or um, well, especially Bad to the Bone, or when you have um Little Pretty One that was playing or, or, or in the in the in the movie Little Bitty Pretty One, or I'll Forever Love You, you know. Yeah, the sound the soundtrack for the for the music, it was especially bad to the bone. That's well enough as it is, but soundtrack and score is not gonna match the the music of this of of a, of a remake of it. So yeah, I'm sure it's it's a little bit flawed though, but still. So yeah, a remake of John Carpenter's Christine, let alone Stephen King's Christine, it's not gonna it's it's no uh. No, uh, what's the, what's the word, um, what's the, what's the term for it? No, not, no match, it's something, it's something like that, it's, it's something that, that, that it's not gonna top the original, Some, something of that term, it's not gonna top the original, I'll just put it that way. I mean, who, who, whether cast, director, music score, especially the effects, I guarantee it's all gonna be CG'd. Definitely, for how when Christine's like repairing herself, or if they choose to set on fire, definitely gonna be CGI. So, I'm just giving this is a little bit thought because, like I said, there's not much to talk about because I already know all, 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 what's all, what's gonna happen. You know, I already know. Like I said, I'm not surprised by it, so I, I'm already know what's gonna happen. What's it's probably some people will say is is this, a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna agree with me on this. A lot of them, maybe some people will disagree. Fair enough, but I'm sure, I guarantee you, a lot of people who enjoy or love Christine is is they're gonna agree with me saying it's the original is always gonna be the best, a classic, especially a classic. So, but I just want to do a little uh, ranting. Uh, I, I just found I just this is a piece of news I just found out earlier. So, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next for for more Anime Month, and we'll see y'all later. Point another pointless remake just dead it right there. So stay tuned for more Anime Month. Later.